soul. And all that within me is, bless his holy name. God is a good God and the worthy to be praised. Matter of fact, he's the one true God, the only God. And he's worthy. I mean, he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. I was, as I was driving up here, I had one sermon I'm going to talk about, but something else popped in my mind, so I got to go with this here. I got to go with the, what the Lord gave me. See, I don't come up with my own stuff. I have to come up with, give, give you what God gives me. Amen. Amen. So as I was riding down here, uh, another thought popped in my mind. So I'm going to talk about this just for a few minutes. Amen. Amen. Let me say a prayer before I get started. Father God, I thank you for your goodness. And your mercy. I thank you for your love towards me. Oh God, how you bless the daily. Oh God, how you watch and keep me. Oh God, I'm praying that you anoint me lips of clay. Call me to speak as one who's inquiring at the oracle, oracles of your word. Lord, I love you and I give you praise. I'm praying, oh God, that you speak a word. Lord, let it go forth in power and authority, oh God. Oh, the only which thou can give it, oh God. Let it touch men and women hearts. Boys and girls everywhere, oh God. Whoever so with this word, oh God, I pray you make a change in their life. I pray you stir their soul. Lord God, I'm praying that you open blinded eyes. I'm praying, oh God, that you're free. Set somebody free and deliver them. And I will give your name the praise and the glory and honor. As I was riding on up here, the, the thought coming in my mind, what? 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 What shall I render? This is going to be the 116th Psalm, the 12th verse. What shall I render? What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? What am I going to give the Lord? He's been so good to me. He's been so kind to me. What am I going to do for him? What am I going to give the Lord? What shall I render unto the Lord? Uh huh. What am I going to do? It's not all about me. It's about him. Uh-huh. He's been so kind to me. Uh-huh. He's been so good to me. He's been so merciful unto me. He watched over me, called me to rise early in the morning. He gave me life, health, and strength. He watched over my children day in and day out. Uh-huh. When I'm sick, he'll touch my body. What shall I render unto the Lord? For all, you know, it's a benefit to serve the Lord. Uh-huh. If you, if you walk in the court that way, you got benefits. Uh-huh, when the evil one come up, he come upon you. Uh-huh, try to take control of your heart. Try to deal in your mind. Try to deceive you. It said the spirit of the Lord said, lift up a standing against him. What should I render unto the Lord? The Lord been so good to me that when I was yet in my sin, uh-huh, he still had mercy on me. He still walked over me. He still loved me. It said he loved me so that while we were yet, yet sinners, Christ died. He died. He made a way for me that I may live. So what am I do? What shall I render unto the Lord? He made way for me when I couldn't see no way. When like no option was there, he opened up a door for me. Food on my table, clothes on my back. Uh -huh. He made a way out of no way. So what shall I render? What am I going to do for him? What shall I render to the Lord? Riding down the highway, could have been in a terrible accident, but the Lord had mercy. Uh huh. And I, 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 I avoided that situation. I knew I was in trouble. But what shall I render to Him? Uh huh. For the mercy that He showed toward me. Uh huh. What shall I give Him? What I'm gonna do? He knew what He do and did what He did. Now what are what are we gonna do for Him? What shall I render? What are we going to give him? Uh -huh. For all, all his benefits. He got many benefits. He blessed us, blessed us sometimes uh -huh, when we don't even deserve it. Uh -huh. He do good things for us. He loved us. He loved us so. So what shall I render uh -huh, unto the Lord? For all his benefits, washed on my wife, washed on my children, uh -huh, danger all around them, sick in the hospital, but God, so what shall I render? Uh -huh. 
going through terrible situations, could have lost your mind. But God, uh huh, doing other things that I had no business doing. But God, so what shall I render unto the Lord for all His benefits toward me? I know what I'm gonna do, uh huh, because He showed me love. Because he showed me mercy. Because he showed me so much kindness. It's that with his love, he had drawn me. Uh -huh. While I was yet in my sin, he showed love toward me. He showed mercy toward me. That drew me. Yes, sir. And I know what I'm going to do. I made it in my mind. Uh, but I heard about this one called Jesus. I heard about the Messiah. I heard about this God that is able uh -huh, to do anything but fail. I heard about this one that brought forth salvation. And I, I want to be the level. So what? What shall I do? I'm going to make up in my mind. Because mm -hmm, you've been so good to me. I'm going to make up in my mind. That I'm going to change my way. See, this is the main goal of the Lord. The Lord don't want us to die in sin. He died that we may live and not die. He died uh, just for, somebody else just for me. Mm -hmm. That's his main, his main goal. is to save your soul. Uh, so I'm going to make up in my mind. Uh, that the only thing to separate you and God is sin. Sin will separate you and God. So what should I render unto the Lord? Uh-huh. For all his benefits toward me, I'm going to make up my mind. I will take of the cup of salvation. Salvation, 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 deliverance. I'm going to take this cup of salvation and I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. Uh-huh. Salvation is a whole lot in that cup of salvation. Denying myself is in this cup of salvation. Uh -huh. Turn away from the world is in this cup of salvation. Sanctifying myself is in this cup of salvation. Walk according to the word of God, the oracles of God, the law of God. Because Jesus said, if you really, really love me, you'll keep my commandment. Hallelujah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to cup of salvation. See, Jesus brought salvation. And what he said, do, if you do it, you'll gain salvation. You'll get deliverance. Uh -huh. You'll get freedom. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, your whole life will be changed. Yes, it will now. So what should I do? I'm going I'm to I'm take it to cup. Uh -huh. This cup is set before me. This holy cup. This cup of righteousness. I ain't going to walk contrary to the word of God. But now I made it in my mind because with his love he informed me. Because he has so much mercy on me. When I should have been dead and gone. Dead in my sin. He showed me mercy. He had mercy upon me. So now I'm going to make it in my mind. I'm going to take of the cup of salvation. And I'm going to call. Yes, sir, I'm going to call. I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. Because he that calleth uh, upon the name of the Lord with a sincere heart, made it from the depths of my soul. Yes, sir, because God has been so good to me. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. the, this poor, this poor man cried. I realized uh, what situation I was in. How bad off I was. But the Lord showed me mercy. When I got down, 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 I began to call. Uh -huh. When I thought about the goodness of the Lord. When I thought about his love. When I thought about his mercy. When I thought about God's grace. I began to call. Uh -huh. Call on the name of the Lord. Because I heard about this one. This one that can deliver me. This one that can set me free. This one that can pick me up. This one that can turn me around. This one uh, who's able. I heard that he got all power. He got all power in the palm of his hand. I heard there was nothing. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Uh, if you only submit to him. If you only call on his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I heard uh, if you call on him uh, with a sincere heart, uh, if you really mean it from the bottom of your heart, uh, if you turn, uh, turn from the way uh, that's not pleasing to the Lord, uh, and begin to call on his name, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, I need your help, Lord. Uh, I need you to turn me around. Uh, Lord, I can't do it on my own. Uh, I can't stop on my own. Uh, oh, God. Uh, but I'm calling on you, Lord. Uh, 
but I heard that he didn't call on your name. You were able to do it for me. I want to be set free. I want to be delivered. Oh, Jesus, I'm calling on your name. Jesus, will you stop by and see about me? Jesus, I need you to take my heart. Jesus, I need you to change my mind. Oh, Lord Jesus, I want to be saved, Lord. I want to be set free. I want to be delivered, Lord. I want the spirit of joy. I want the spirit of peace that only you can give. What shall I render? What, 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 what shall I render? What am I going to do now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take in a cup of salvation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. And I will pay my vows unto the Lord. See, for many times when we get in trouble, we call on and say, Lord, if you bring me out of this, uh, if you bring me through this, Lord, if you do this for me, now I'll do that. I make a vow to the Lord. Uh, Lord, I walk up right if you help me in this situation. Oh, you can bring me out of this situation. I'll do this for you. I'll be obedient to you. So what am I going to do? Uh-huh. I'm going to pay my vow. All those vows I made to the Lord. He started bringing back to your mind. You remember when you said, if I do this for you, uh -huh, you'll turn. You'll change your whole life. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So those vows I made to the Lord. Somebody said, I made a vow, a holy vow. I'm going to pay my vow, my vow, and I won't take it back. I ain't going to take it all back. Because he's done what he said he going to do. Now it's my turn to pay my debt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay what I said unto the Lord. I'm going to render uh -huh, myself unto the Lord. Uh -huh, that he might dwell in me. That he might live in me. That he might walk in me. I want him to change me. Mm -hmm. What shall I render? That's all, that's all I want to talk about. What shall I render? What are you going to do? The Lord been good to you. The Lord been merciful unto you. You know there was some situation you was in. Uh -huh. You didn't see no way out. And the Lord had mercy on you. He had compassion on you. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. He did things just for you. So you'll see that he is God. You'll know that he is the one true God. You'll know that he's able uh -huh, to do anything but fail. So now what are you going to do? Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. If he's been all that to you, and you know you couldn't have did it on your own. You know you couldn't have came out that situation on your own. You know it wasn't a God. The doctor might have gave you up gave, gave up on you so like there's no hope for you. But God had mercy. Uh, but God showed his love toward you. Gave you another chance. Gave you another other opportunity. Could have been dead and gone. Yes, sir. Terrible situation you in. Could have been killed. But God. Overdose on drugs. But God. Yes, sir. Lost your mind. But God. Because you know all the people in the, doing the same thing you were doing. They lost their life. Uh -huh. But God. Lost their mind. Lost their home. But God had mercy. <laughs> He had love toward you. So what shall think about that? You don't think about nothing else. What am I gonna do? What shall I render unto the Lord for all, all his benefits? Mm -hmm. It's a benefit in serving God. Uh huh. When you come to the Lord, when you open up your heart and tell Him, "Come on in," uh huh. You get benefits in serving God. Yes, sir. Things other people go through and kill themselves. But God will take you on through it. And he'll take you through with joy. He'll take you through with peace. Things other people can't even have them. God, uh -huh, he said in his word, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I, I will be with you to the end of the world. Yes, sir. What shall I? I render to the Lord for all his benefits. Oh, it's beautiful.
benefits. And the Lord uh, got great benefits. Your reward will be great in heaven. Uh -huh. Things we never even heard about because it said eyes haven't heard, ears haven't heard, eyes have never seen. Uh -huh. Those things that God has laid up for them that loved him. Yes, sir. God got them riches, uh, riches in glory. Yes, sir. You, you haven't even imagined. So we serve an awesome God. I serve an awesome God. Yes, sir. So you think about this thing. What? What am I going to do? What shall I render unto the Lord? What am I going to give the Lord? The Lord been giving to me, but now it's my turn to give back to him. What shall I render? He wants your soul. He wants you to live. He wants you to have everlasting life. What shall I render? I'm going to make, make a vow to the Lord. Uh huh. I'm gonna make a vow. I'm gonna make a commitment to God. Yes, sir. I'm gonna walk the way He's ordered. He tell me to walk. I'm gonna live the way He want me to live. Uh huh. Yes, sir. What? What shall I render unto the Lord for all all His benefits toward me? I'm gonna take the cup of salvation. That's his main goal. Uh -huh. He wants you to be, he wants you to be delivered. He came that you would be delivered. He died that you might be delivered, that you might be set free, that you might live and not die, that you might have this relationship with him, uh -huh. this fellowship with him, that you might know him. Jesus said, Father, I come that they might know, uh, that they might know thee. The one true God, the only God, that they might know thee. Mm-hmm. You can't know him until you come to him, until you surrender to him, until you really yield to him, until you open up your heart to him. Come on in, Lord. Uh -huh. Change my thoughts, change my mind, change my heart. Uh -huh. That you may know him. Yes, sir. What? What shall I render? Watch over my children. Uh -huh. Keep my house. You keep my home. You keep my family. You make ways out of no ways. It was you, Lord, that gave me a job. It was you that called me to be successful. It was you that picked me up. It was you that did these great things for me. It wasn't me. Uh-huh, because in him we move, we can't even, we can't even get up to bed if he don't yield the strength to us. If he don't keep our mind, we'll lose our minds. What should I render? So in the sickness in the land, if God don't keep you, uh-huh, a mosquito bite will kill you. We are weak and, we are weak and frail. Fragile. Anything can destroy us. But God, when God is on your side, mm -hmm, he's more than the whole world against you. What shall I render unto this awesome God? What am I going to give him? He's been giving me. It's my turn. He wants something from me. He wants obedience. Present your bodies. I'm gonna present my body a living sacrifice. I'm gonna offer up him the sacrifice of praise. I'm gonna present my body a living sacrifice, holy unto the Lord. What am I gonna render? What shall I render? Ask yourself, what shall I render? Self, what are you gonna give God? What are you gonna give God for his mercy, for his love, for his kindness? So what are you going to do? Make up in your mind that I'm going to give that what you do unto him. I'm going to give him the praise. I'm going to give him honor. But I'm going to give him my life. He wants you to live. He wants you to live. He said, look unto me. All oh, ye ends of the earth. And be ye saved, be delivered. 
Be set free. Come on, accept him. He's standing there knocking, saying, open up. He said, if you open up unto him, he will come in and suck with you, sit down and, and talk with you. What can you ask more for the God of the whole universe uh -huh, to come and sit down and have a conversation with you and talk with you? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Commune with you. Yes, sir. What? That's the only thought that comes to my mind while I'm riding here. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits? Riding around in a nice car, got a nice home, but it's only because of the goodness of the Lord. Uh -huh. He takes his strength away from you, can't even go to work. Uh huh. Only because his goodness, he gives you the understanding to do what you do. To be able to make yourself prosperous. So what am I going to do in return? What shall I render? Self, what are you going to do? I'm going to take up the cup of salvation. And I'm going to call 